Our starter at Balmoro Park. Starter at Balmoro, Bob Knox has called for the Pacers for tonight's first race. And the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off in pacing in between horses. My wife left for the lead. Avidity came away well. Done along the inside driving out. Brenda Sue along the pylons trying to fit through there is Val Attack. They battle for the lead in position. And now getting caught in between horses. Brenda Sue. They move on to the back stretch, and my wife has the lead, uh, looking to drop in second. Avidity on the outside, parked third. Brenda Sue, Valatek all on the inside, fourth, parked and moving up fifth. Finally, incredible. Bo of Silk came away sixth. Burgundy and Brie on the outside, seventh. Sweet Bridges eighth. Up on the outside, moving up ninth is Fox Valley Charade. Martha and Morgan at the end. Quarter 29 and three. They approach the half off stride up front is Brenda Sue. Brenda Sue made a break. And now numerous horses have to go three wide around her. They race to the half and finally Incredible now rolls to the front, leads by two. There goes Burgundy and Brie up to be second on the inside and third. My wife, Fox Valley Charade, comes on fourth, half and 59 seconds flat. Less than a half mile of the pace in the opener, finally Incredible leads, and that will be for about another three more feet because here comes Fox Valley Charade now to take the lead. It's Fox Valley Charade to the front. Finally, Incredible trying to fight back second. Burgundy and Brianna inside, no place to go. Moving up on the outside, fourth, Martha and Morgan. My wife is dropping back, moving up three wide from the back of the pack. Here comes Bow of Silk. They're in the lane in tonight's opener. Finally, Incredible on a short lead on the outside. Martha and Morgan moves up to challenge. Here comes Bow of Silk on the grandstand side. Bow of Silk now rushes up to take the lead, draws away by two. Martha and Morgan second on the outside and third. Sweet Bridges, Burgundy and Brie got pushed back. She shakes loose and is coming on. But Bow of Silk has the lead. Burgundy and Brie's coming to her. Bow of Silk in front. Burgundy and Brie second. Sweet Bridges third. Avity is fourth. Here they come. They're off and pacing on the inside. Sporty Jan left for the lead. On the outside, Chiefs Frost drives out. In between those two, tough legacy left in third. Moving through on the inside and holding fourth. Silky's Eclipse coming away fifth. Pete the Cheat. In sixth position to the quarter. That's inside straight. Parked and moving up seventh. Cruise Master. Calling me bad is eighth. Studio Musician ninth. And the early trailer is Cripple Creek Mike. Second race Pacers move on to the back stretch with Sporty Jan showing the way to a quarter. 29 and four. Sporty Jan the leader racing in second. Chiefs Frost up on the outside. Cruise Master rolling up third. In fourth this tough legacy. There goes Pete the Cheat on the outside fifth. Silky's Eclipse shuffled sixth, inside straight, no place to go, seventh. Studio Musician moves up on the outside, eighth, calling me bad, ninth. Cripple Creek Mike is the trailer. They race to the half, and your new leader now is Cruise Master. Halfway home, 59 seconds flat, they move around the turn, Cruise Master the leader. Sporty Jan second on the outside, Pete the Cheat comes on third. Towards the inside with no place to go fourth. Chiefs Frost ranging up on the outside. Fifth is Studio Musician towards the inside and sixth. That's Tough Legacy. They're at the top of the stretch. Cruise Master the leader. The Philly Sporty Jan chasing in second. Three quarters, 129 flat. They're on their way home. It's Cruise Master by two. Sporty Jan towards the inside second. Pete the Cheat hanging on the outside. Third, Chiefs Frost wants Racing Room fourth. Also looking for Racing Room on the inside is Tough Legacy. Then it's Studio Musician fifth. But Cruise Master draws away by five. Chiefs Frost now closing ground second. Tough Legacy in the third. 
It's Cruise Master the leader as they come to the wire. Chief Frost is second, Tough Legacy third. Here come the Trotters. Trotters are sent on their way, and on the outside, Ken Holly left well for the lead. In between horses, Victory Jimmer left. Fox Valley All Boy on the inside came away well as these three battle across the track. Holding the inside fourth, Rosina Mighty Deal parked in fifth as Asifa Fay Al Sahara. Wondrous Woman found a good early spot and she moves through now fifth. Asifa Fay Al Sahara parked in sixth, dropping in seventh. Talcott Billow coming away eighth as Emily Rose to the outside. Evening Lady Ninth and the early trailer Spanish Tune. The opening quarter in 29 seconds flat and Can Holly rolls on the front end, leads by two. Racing in second, Fox Valley All Boy along the inside third, Rosina Mighty Deal. Parked in fourth, Victory Jammer towards the inside, Wondrous Woman fifth. There goes Evening Lady now moving up on the outside sixth and she's about six lanes from the leader. Asifa Fay Al Sahara no place to go on the inside seventh, moving up eighth, Spanish Tune. In ninth position, Emily Rose far back out of it is Talcott Billow. Half went in 58 and two, final three eighths of the mile. Ken Holly keeps her lead by two. Fox Valley All Boy still in second. Here comes Rosina Mighty Deal rushing up on the outside third. Wondrous Woman moves up behind her fourth, then to the outside fifth. Spanish Tuna Sifa Fay Al Sahara still needs racing room. Trotters are in the lane and Ken Holly raced a bit wide. She still leads. Rosina Mighty Deal on the outside, second, Fox Valley All Boy towards the inside, third, racing in fourth, Spanish Tune on the inside, looking for racing, or Masifa Fay Al Sahara, final eighth of a mile, Ken Holly the leader, Fox Valley All Boy trying to come on, a late move on the outside by Emily Rose, your leader, Ken Holly, Emily Rose is coming on, Ken Holly in front, Emily Rose second, tight for third, between Spanish Tune and Masifa Fay Al Sahara. Here they come. They're off and pacing on the inside. Why do you cry? Left for the lead in between horses. Park Lane Angel driving up from the far outside. Fastest of all to take the lead is Gold Tune. It's Gold Tune to the front. Why do you cry? Second Park Lane Angel now hung on the outside. Third towards the inside. Fourth, Tiana Diana. Second, Park Lane Angel now hung on the outside. Third, towards the inside. Fourth, Tiana Diana. Coming away, fifth, Queen Mildred K in sixth position. Mama's good looking. Juice Harp is next. Amazing Chick in the early trailer. Tiffany's Express. They move by the quarter, 30 and 1 fifth. And from the outside, Park Lane Angel now takes the lead. They've paced three eighths of a mile. It's Park Lane Angel by almost two. Racing in second, Gold Tune. Why do you cry is third race again, fourth, Tiana Diana. Queen Mildred K towards the inside, no place to go, fifth, moving up six, Juice Harp. To the outside in seventh, Amazing Chick shuffled eighth, Mama's good looking, trailing the field, Tiffany's Express. Ten lanes covers first to last, and they've reached the half with Park Lane Angels showing the way. One and one and two in their halfway home, and around the turn they go. Park Lane Angel, the leader, a length and a half, Gold Tune second by two, on the outside, gaining ground third is Juice Harp. Why do you cry? No place to go in fourth. Amazing Chick gains ground fifth. Third over six, Tiffany's Express. Shuffled seventh is Tiana Diana. Moving up on the outside eighth, Mama's good looking. Shuffled to ninth, Queen Mildred K. Heads are turned for home and the favorite at three to five. Park Lane Angel tells them all, catch me if you can. She leads a length and a half on the outside. Juice Harp trying to come on second. Gold Tune towards the inside, third Amazing Chick closing ground, fourth. Also coming out on the outside, fifth is Tiffany's Express. 
Park Lane Angel holding firm by two. Amazing Chick now in second on the outside. Tiffany's Express coming on in between horses. Juice Harp. Park Lane Angel in front. Tiffany's Express up for second. Juice Harp was third. Here they come. They're off in pacing, no cut claws, and pick three, Jimmy left well for the lead, driving up from the center of the track. Lambeau, Hanover, and these three now draw away five lanes from the rest of the field. Moving up on the outside to take over fourth comes Sweet and Deadly in fifth position on the inside, Thor. Then on the inside, it's One Big Hustler, followed by Holly Hill Action in the early trailer, Lake Hills Matt. Fifth race, Pacers move on to the back stretch, and your leader by a length and a half is No Cut Claws, pick three, Jimmy chasing second by two, Lambeau Hanover third, quarter 28 and four. They pace three eighths of a mile and no cut claws leads by two. Pick three, Jimmy second by two. Lambo Hanover third. Sweet and deadly racing fourth. It's a five length gap to Thor in fifth. Moving up on the outside, Holly Hill action gains ground six. One big hustler seventh. Lake Hills Matt on the move from eighth. They race to the half in a time of 58 and four and they move around the turn. No cut claws, the leader now starting to draw away by three. Racing second, pick three, Jimmy Lambeau. Hanover moves up on the outside, third. And moving up on the outside, four comes Thor towards the inside and fifth with no place to go. Sweet and deadly. Final three eighths of the mile, no cut claws by three. Lambeau, Hanover moves up on the outside to be second. Here comes Thor charging up third, three quarters, one, 28 and two. In the stretch, no cut claws, leads by three. Lambo Hanover trying to come on second. Pick three, Jimmy on the inside, third racing in fourth. Thor closing up from far back is Sweet and Deadly on the inside. No cut claws, Lambo Hanover's closing up on the outside. It's no cut claws on the inside. Lambo Hanover on the outside. Lambo Hanover, maybe very tight. Lambo Hanover or no cut claws, Sweet and Deadly. Here they come. They're off and pacing on the outside. Fancy biking left for the lead along the pylons. First pot of gold drives out. In between those two, Ms. Carbon Copy third. May Scooter came away fourth. Looking to drop in fifth, Casino Cutie and She Will, right in front of the gapping Fellas Opal sixth. In seventh position to the quarter, Savoir Superb racing in eighth as Wish for Beauty, Camus Star ninth in the early trailer. Lake Kills Alexis, 10 pacers for the sixth, move on to the back stretch. Off a quarter, 29 and one, and driving from the pocket, first pot of gold rushes up to take the lead. On the outside, moving quickly, second goes Casino Cutie, and Maxwell's not waiting. He's moving her three wide for the lead. They race to the half, and Casino Cutie up to take the lead. First pot of gold racing, second. On the outside, park third, as Fellas Opal towards the inside, shuffled fourth. Fancy Viking. Racing up on the outside, fifth is Savoir Superb in sixth position along the inside. Ms. Carbon Copy, then it's May Scooter next, half 57-4. Midway on the turn, Casino Cutie a length on the outside. Moving up to be second comes Fancy Biking. They're at the top of the stretch. It's Casino Cutie the leader towards the inside with no place to go in second. His first pot of gold gaining on the outside. Third at the top of the stretch, Fellas Opal. In the stretch, Casino Cutie the leader, Fellas Opal on the outside, challenging second, first pot of gold, third, racing in fourth, the Savoir Superb looking for racing room on the outside of horses, Ms. Carbon Copy, 
final eighth of a mile. It's Casino Cutie, the leader. In between horses, Fellas Opal on the outside. Savoir Superb, Casino Cutie, Savoir Superb. Fellas Opal in a drive to the wire. Fellas Opal getting up. Casino Cutie second, Savoir They're often pacing, Love and Passion, Fox Valley Pretend, and Double Down Delray all left well for the lead. From the center of the track, driving out, looking for an early spot, Beach Banquet moving through on the inside now, fourth, past the gravy. Beach Banquet backs off to drop in fifth, right in front of Beach Bound Brent in sixth position, Ultimate Sabra. They race on to the back stretch and race to the quarter of battle up top on the outside, Love and Passion. On the inside, Fox Valley pretend these two heads apart off a quarter, 29 seconds flat. Love and Passion now takes the lead, a clear length racing in second. Fox Valley pretend, double down Delray third, past the gravy fourth. Beach Banquet fifth, Beach Bound Brit to the outside sixth, up on the outside to be seventh. Coming at you, trailing the field eighth, Ultimate Sabra. Ten lanes covers first to last, and they move to the half. Your leader is Love and Passion, Fox Valley pretends second, past the gravy, moves quickly on the outside, third, now driving second. Halfway home, 58 and two, and around the turn they go, past the gravy, now powers up to take the lead. Here comes Beach Bound Brit, moving up on the outside, second, losing ground, third, Love and Passion, Fox Valley pretend, locked in with no place to go, third, make that fourth. Coming at you on the outside, fifth, locked in with no place to go, sixth, double down Delray. They turn for the money, past the gravy, the one to catch. Three quarters, 126 and four, past the gravy by two. Beach bound Brit getting set to come out for the drive, second. On the outside, Beach Banquet coming on, third, racing in fourth through the lane, love and passion. It's past the gravy, the leader. Here comes the beach bound Brit up on the outside. Fox Valley pretend. Past the gravy still has the lead as they come to the wire. Past the gravy. Here comes beach bound Brit. Beach bound Brit at the wire wins it. Past the gravy. Hung Here they come. They're often pacing, Ron Sano and Clear My Way left well for the lead. Then along the inside, Les Go Henry came away well as they battled for a position around the first turn. Ron Sano from the outside now takes the lead. In between horses driving up is Denham. Towards the inside, third, Clear My Way parked and moving up fourth. Yagi in fifth is Les Go Henry racing in sixth. Rough road, two and a half lengths back, the Southern Justice in seventh, another two and a half back to take all popsicle trails the field. They race by the quarter, 29 seconds flat, and on the outside, Yagi moves up to challenge Denham for the lead. It's Yagi to the front, Denham racing second. There goes Rough Road now, surging quickly on the outside, moving up third, now driving second and intent on gaining the lead. They race to the half, and from the outside, Rough Road zooms on by off a half, 56 and two. Second quarter, 27 and two. They move around the turn, Rough Road the leader, Yagi racing second, Denim is third. Here comes Lasco Henry ranging up on the outside, fourth. Moving up behind him, fifth is Southern Justice. Ron Sano shuffled on the inside, six. Clear my way, shuffled seventh. Moving up three wide, eighth. His popsicle take all shuffle the ninth. They turn for the money to cap off tonight's late daily double and Rough Road has the lead by two. Denim still right there in second. Make that Yagi in second. Denim is third. Racing in fourth without pace is Les Go Henry. On the inside, Rough Road on the outside. Yagi's closing ground second. Ron Sano's closing out in the center of the track. It's Yagi to the front. Ron Sano's gaining with each and every stride. Yagi and Ron Sano. Yagi in front. Ron Sano second. Lesko Henry third.
Here they come. They're off and pacing Mega Mega Dittos out sharply for the lead on the inside. Bronze Meadow left well from the center of the track. Conundrum drives up looking for an early spot third. Parked in fourth. Let's go Nick along the inside in fifth is Royal Wings. Romantic Road came away in sixth. Racing in seventh to the quarter. Park Lane Power. Nuke there it is in eighth. Timu came away ninth and the early trailer is Sportsmen. Ninth race Pacers move on to the back stretch off a quarter, 28 and 3. And from the outside, Let's Go Nick now takes the lead. Mega Mega Dittos battling back on the inside. Second racing in third is Bronze Meadow. In fourth position, Conundrum. Two and a half lengths back to Royal Wings, fifth. Another two back to Romantic Road, sixth. Park Lane Power, seventh. On the inside, Nuke there it is, eighth. Timu is ninth and Sportsman trails about 14 lanes from the leader. They race to the half, and from the outside, that's Mega Mega Dittos moving up to reclaim the lead off a of half and 56 and 1. Mega Mega Dittos, the leader on the outside, moving up quickly. Here comes Bronze Medal to be second. Towards the inside, shuffled third is Let's Go Nick. Royal Wings now advancing up on the outside with cover fourth. No place to go fifth along the inside. Conundrum, Romantic Road moving up on the outside, followed on the outside. Timus moving up to rewide. They turn for home. Mega Mega Dittos has the lead. And the outside bronze medal hanging second towards the inside. Let's go. Nick is third. Royal Wings closing up on the outside. Followed up by Romantic Road. Looking for racing room is Conundrum on the far outside. Timu. Mega Mega Dittos through it all. Still has the lead. On the inside. Here comes Nuke. There it is. Finding an opening. Nuke. There it is. Is flying. Here comes Nuke. There it is to win it. Mega Mega Dittos. Second tight for third. Let's go Nick maybe. They're off and pacing on the inside. Raven alone left well for the lead. Capture him left well. That along the pylons, Papa Red. Aim. Do you want to fly? Gold Road just degrading Artesia's special check, but taking aim is now taking dead aim to get to that finish line first. And the further they go, the easier for taking aim over. Do you want to fly? Gold Road Artesia's special check in a photo for third. Well, now that the simulcast race is over, we'll continue with Balmoral's last race as they move up the backstretch into the quarter in a time of 29 seconds flat. Raven alone has the lead, racing in second, capture him. It's a three-length gap to Papa Red third. And the outside, Tough Eyes moves up fourth. Dick the Bruiser on the inside, fifth. Corporate Image moves up sixth. Our Romantic Walk seventh and trailing working in coal mine. They race to the half mile pole and your leader is Raven alone up on the outside. Papa Red moves up second. Racing in third is Capture Him. They move to a half in 58 seconds flat. Around the far turn they go on the outside. That's Papa Red moving up to take the lead. Raven alone says, I've got a little something left here. And now Raven alone battles back on the inside. Final three eighths of the mile. Raven alone reclaims the lead. Papa Red now hanging on the outside, second, two lanes back, capture him third. On the outside, gaining ground, fourth comes Tough Eyes. They turn for home in the nightcap, and it's Raven alone, the leader. Papa Red on the outside, racing second. Capture him towards the inside, third, Tough Eyes fourth. On the far outside, Corporate Image comes on fifth, racing in sixth with no place to go. Dick the Bruiser. Final eighth of a mile, Raven alone on the inside. Papa Red moves up again the challenge. Tough Eyes closing four off the pylons, down along the inside, capture him. There's four in a drive to the wire and Tough Eyes is gonna get it all. Tough Eyes to win it, Raven alone second. Yeah.